Today we're going to be talking about how to find broken mods in The Sims 4, as well as in the mods folder. We can figure out if we have broken mods or broken CC if we notice any of these behaviors in your Sims 4 game. The first one is your Sim cannot complete a task. If you put your Sim to do something, the Sim won't do it. The interaction is going to show up in this menu, but the Sim is not going to complete it and it's going to you know, ignore it altogether. This happens due to broken mods. If you go to game options, other, click on view custom content, it's going to show you the list of your whole entire CC and script mods that you have in the game. For me, I only have two mods. What I want you to look at is at the script mods list. Write down every single name of the mods that appear. For me, there are a bunch of names for a singular mod, which is MCC. So obviously on that list, I'm going to write down MCC and then UI cheats. If you have multiple mods that have the same name, just write the basic name like MC. Once you wrote down that list, I want you to exit the game, go into your documents, electronic cards, The Sims 4, and then mods, search every single mod, the names that you wrote down on that list, into this search bar and then search it. Every single mod that has to do with MC is going to get deleted. So you can either select it manually or you can click on your keyboard control or command if you're on Mac and A at the same time. Only delete the mods that you've searched and that are appearing in the search results. Press delete or we can right click delete. It's going to get deleted and then we're going to click on this X to go back to our mods folder or we can click back. The MC mod is no longer here. The next one is UI, UI cheats. We're going to select all of them, delete, go back, and we only have the CC. When deleting broken mods, it's also important to not forget about deleting this file, which is local thumb cache, because in this file, parts of broken mods are going to get piled up in this file and the game is still going to be broken. So this is a temporary file. It's going to show up once again after launching the game because it's regenerable. We're going to click on it. We're going to right click it, delete, and we're good to go. Another way around for this is also searching the TS4 script files that are inside your mods folder and deleting all of them. You can additionally write down the name of each mod that ends with TS4 script and then search the name of each mod individually because not all mods end with TS4 script. But these are the most problematic files because those add features into the game. Once we install a brand new update in a game, the mod is not going to be compatible anymore. So that's why the game is going to get broken because we're enabling the mods, which are now currently broken because they are outdated. They are no longer compatible with our game version. That's why we need to find the broken mods, delete them, and then Google them and update them. So for me, it's the MCC mod that I need to update. If you haven't updated the game, your mods are good to go, then you won't need to update the game. You only need to delete your broken mod when you update your game because mods get broken after getting an update on the game. So we have it here and we're going to put it back into our mods folder. I'm using WinRAR if you're wondering, but if you are on Mac or if you have Windows 11, you can simply double click on it and then select the content that is inside, drag and drop it here. Do not put the zip file inside your mods folder because the game is not going to recognize your mod. So that's why it's not working. Another thing that you should keep in mind is don't download mods that aren't up to date. Even though some might say that they're still working, they might pose a problem in your Sims game. We don't want to deal with that. We want to have all of our mods compatible with our game version. So don't delete a mod that is broken and then install the same version because it's still not going to work. It needs to be up to date and you can tell by the date of the release. Each and every mod should have a release date and you can check that. Another helpful way to identify your broken mods 
is by using tray importer you basically dress up your sim with all those broken cc and you save it as a household and every single household that you have will appear in the sims 4 tray importer and the way you want to go about this you want to go to the cc you've used for that particular sim in this program identify it in your mods folder this program is going to select and highlight every single CC that has been used and it's going to pop up your mods folder and you can easily delete those broken files. There's another mod called Better Exceptions, which generates a report that says, hey, you have these mods that are outdated or are broken. I have a video on these three programs on my channel, Train Porter, The Sims 4 Studio, as well as Better Exceptions. Here you can find the latest Better Exceptions mod. View all. You can click on view all. Here it is, Better Exceptions. This is the latest version. So always be mindful from where you get the updates. Make sure it's the original website of the creator. Make sure it's always up to date because we don't want to have any broken mods in our game. And a broken mod is a mod that has been released one year ago. Even a mod that has been released three months ago and that hasn't been updated for the latest version of The Sims 4 can be broken. So really pay attention to that. I really want to show you another method to detect potentially broken mods. Always look at the date modified. So you can double click on it until you see the oldest date. Those mods that end with TS4 script and that are from 2022, let's just say, can potentially be broken because they haven't been updated in a year. Delete those that seem old to you and see if it makes any difference in your game. I have talked about broken mods in several other videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.